What's up everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fully optimize your PC for the best performance and how to boost your FPS in the new GTA 5 Enhanced Edition. Now probably many of you know that GTA 5 has got a new update where basically a bunch of new textures and enhancements have been added to the game. Now the game might look better, but ultimately it's getting a lot less performance which results in FPS drops, lag spikes and all that stuff. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fix that and actually boost your FPS so you can get the most FPS, lowest input lag, lowest ping, not only in GTA 5 but in every single game. Right, so the first thing you want to do is go in your browser and type in discord.gg slash rip tweaks. Now once you've done that, discord is going to open and what you want to do is join the server and go to the free tweaks channel. What you want to do here is download the free tweaks pack v7, v7, click download and then just save it on your desktop. Now once you've done that, what you want to do is right click and open with windows explorer. Now what you want to do is drag the file out, right click and run as administrator. Now what this is, is basically a warning screen telling you to create a store point which is crucial if you want to revert any changes later. What you want to do is click number one and click enter basically this is going to do everything for you essentially creating a backup now once that's finished what you want to do is follow my steps now now navigating through the whole app is done by numbers basically number one cpu tweaks number two gpu tweaks so on and so forth for every pc component basically number one cpu tweaks what you want to do is click number one and click enter then pick your cpu basically amd or intel if you don't know what you have right click on task manager go into performance and check out your cpu how much memory you have if you have an ssd or a hard drive what kind of gpu you have as you can see nvidia and what you want to do is tweak everything you have for example number two amd cpu we can go back and go to the gpu tweaks basically tweaking our gpu i've got an nvidia gpu so what i'm going to do is click number one and click enter then you can go back and go to the ram tweaks now basically find out how much ram you have i'm going to click number seven because i have 32 gigs then we can go back and go do cleanup, cleaning up a bunch of temporary files. Then we can go to Windows Tweaks and select if you have Windows 10 or 11. I have Windows 10. If you're unsure, Windows plus R and type in WinVer. As you can see, Windows 10. Choose whatever you have. Now, this is going to take a bunch of time, mostly because it's a bunch of tweaks combined into one just to save your time and at the same time, give the best settings to you. Now, once that's finished, what you want to do is click number three, do services. Then we can go back and do some debloat, basically removing a bunch of bloatware. Then we can go click number seven the ultimate power tweak then we can go number eight input lag remove input delay do some usb port tweaks optimize keyboard optimize mouse then we can go back and do the network tweaks this is mainly to reduce your ping boost internet speeds and basically make sure you never get kicked out of your session now once that's finished what you want to do is click number three and go back and we can close out the app now the next step is following me going into GTA 5. What you want to do is launch GTA 5 and let me show you the best GTA 5 settings for the best performance and the most FPS. All right, so once you're on this screen, what you want to do is click B, basically open up settings and you want to go to the graphics section. Now, once we're in here, what you want to do is tweak a bunch of shit. So listen up. First thing, what you want to do is make sure your screen type is not on Windows borderless and on full screen. Basically, full screen, max hertz. Now what you want to do is disable ray tracing now if you have that on it's gonna cut a bunch of your fps so turning it off as you can see it cuts a bunch of the video memory used as you can see from 5100 to 4600 next what you want to do is disable fucking grass grass is the number one reason for the fps drops basically grass is extremely useless but it takes a shit ton of fps so what you want to do is set it to normal won't matter at all same for water you're not swimming all the time so you don't give a fuck about water lightning this is personal preference if you want to have it on normal or high reflection also has a bunch of impact shadows as well if you want to lower it you can set it to normal now you can click apply changes and you're all set and that's about it guys thank you for watching this video help you out make sure you leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next